U.S. coronavirus cases pass the one million mark, the White House is putting its own spin on how things are going. Uh, take a look. I think you'll see by June a lot of the country should be back to normal, and the hope is, is that by, by July uh, the country's really rocking again. The federal government rose to the challenge, and this is a great success story. Uh, and, and I think that that's really, you know, what needs to be told. And we're going to start to move around, and hopefully in the not-too-distant future we'll have some massive rallies and people will be sitting next to each other. I can't imagine a rally where you have every fourth seat full, every, every six seats are empty for every one that you have full. That wouldn't look too good. So the son-in-law is saying this is a great success story. And I don't know, we've seen pictures of, you know, funeral homes that have had bodies sitting in box trucks for a while. So do you think most Americans are, are going to take this to heart, Sonny, that it was, it's been a great success? Listen, I, I thought those were some of the most tone-deaf uh, comments I've heard from the administration. We know that Jared Kushner has been sort of the behind-the-scenes task force leader, corona task force leader. He's been uh, instrumental in uh, this response, this piss-poor response. And 60,000 Americans have lost their lives. So to call this a rousing success story is, is, is shocking. Um, it's cruel. You know, the cruelty is staggering. And I don't think Americans are buying it at all. This is not a success story at all. Um, and, and I think to, well, to try to flip it like that is, is it's just cruel. Right. And, well, you know who is planning a, a road trip to Ohio and to the state of Arizona, Megan? Why do you think he's in such a rush to get out of the White House and get right to Arizona and to anywhere else to, to do these rallies. Well, I agree with Sunny that it's a sort of bizarre narrative where we can't, you know, I can't even go out and go to a restaurant or go to my doctor. Uh, I have to go to my doctor alone. They're closing beaches in California. Like, we're nowhere near to opening up as a country, but at the same time, our president is really worried about rallies, and he's really worried about Arizona and Ohio because these are going to be makers break states for him going into the election. Arizona, I never thought I would see this in my entire lifetime, but Arizona has a really real possibility of turning into a blue state. Right now, astronaut Kelly is running against uh, McSally, and Arizona has been traditionally red, I think, for the past 80 years. And we're seeing with the growth of immigration and just honestly changing times, Arizona always has been a really independent state, and he's losing right now. He's losing in Arizona. And so I think it is obviously more important to him for him to get out and possibly expose people at rallies in my home state than keep Arizona safe. And I think it's a travesty, and I think it's another example of why on election night I may very well be with you ladies and saying I never I really never thought I'd see the day but it's looking more and more like it could very well happen and he's nervous right and he's also yeah and he's also <laughs> saying he can't wait to have these rallies again and I, I just don't understand where where his head is as especially as you just pointed out Megan this uh, puts other people at risk what do you think joy well, the rallies, he lives for the rallies. This is his whole thing, because that's where he gets the adoration he's so addicted to. And, um, and his supporters uh, are addicted to him, in a way. So it's a, it's a marriage made in heaven, and everybody's lives are put at risk, including his, including his. But I love the way he and Jared are like two toddlers uh, uh, they want what they want, okay? I want to open up the stadiums. I want to go back to where it was. I want. I want to go to Disneyland. Well, Disneyland is closed, okay? Right. So shut up. You're not going to Disneyland, but I want to <laughs> go. I want to go. Right. Okay. That's right. It's, we're, not, we're not open yet. <laughs> we are not open yet. And for all you little toddlers out there, just know that you're not going anywhere right now. 